Shasta, this is a video for you to see how to do A-89. And I'm going to actually show you all three problems. If at any time I'm talking too fast, you need to stop. Just pause the video so you can look at what's on the screen. So when you see all these problems, the very first thing you need to under look, think about is what do each of these problems mean? Knowing the notation. Well, T of 1 means the first term. We've got the little 1 right there. And t of n plus 1, well, in each one of these, that's what we're trying to find out, is this t of n plus 1. So I say that that's the term we want. Otherwise, I'm going to refer to it as this term. But there's also this t of n. Well, what does that mean? What does the t of n mean? So let's, let's look at some sequences first. If, uh, just If I had the first term, the second term, the third term, the fourth term, the fifth term, this would be the notation, t of 1, t of 2, t of 3, t of 4, t of 5. That just means first, second, third, fourth, fifth terms. But what if I don't have the first, second, third? What if I just take a snapshot somewhere in the sequence? We know the sequence does have a beginning. It, end, it begins with the first term, but I don't know where that is. So I don't know if this right here is the eighth term or the 15th term or the 400th term. I don't know which terms these are because I just kind of took a piece out of the sequence. So this is the term that I'm interested in. Remember I said this term. So if this is the term that I'm interested in, I'm going to call that the t of n plus 1. But remember, if let's say this was the fourth term. What came before the fourth term was the third term. So we took 4 and we subtracted 1. Well, if we take n plus 1 and subtract 1, what comes before that would be t of n. So t of n means the term before the t of n plus 1 term. What comes before t of n would be t of n minus 1. What came before that would be t of n minus 2. What about these terms up in going forward from this term? Well, we'd add 1. So we'd have t of n plus 2, and then t of n plus 3, and t of n plus 4. This is just understanding the notation. It doesn't give us the answer to, our, to the questions up here, but we have to understand this notation so that we can translate what's going on in these problems. So in problem A, it tells you that the first term is 3, and then it says the second term would be negative 2 times the previous term, t of 1. So t of 2 is equal to negative 2 times t of, of, to, of t of, of 1, sorry. But we know what t of 1 is. It's negative 3. So we plug it in, and we can evaluate t of 2. t of 3 is negative 2 times t of 2, but we know what t of 2 is. It's 6, so we plug that in and evaluate. t of 4 is negative 2 times t of 3. Again, we know what t of 3 is now, so we plug it in and evaluate. And t of 5 is negative 2 times t of 4, which we know is 24, so we plug that in, and we've got t of 5. So we have the entire amount that they were asking for, but were the first five terms. So we've got the first term is negative 3, then we have 6, negative 12, 24, 48. And you might notice a different way to think of this pattern, but this right here was doing it recursively to find any given term. You had to use the previous term and multiply it by 2. So you can pause if you need to look at that a little longer, but I'm going to move forward. It's all right. We've got A. Let's look at B. Now B, we've got the same idea we've got up here. It says what the first term is. So I wrote down T of 1 is 8. And each one of these, it says to find this term, you're going to take the previous term and subtract 5. So that's what I have. But in each one of those, I know what T of 1 is. It's 8. And evaluate. I know what T of 2 now is. It's 3. And evaluate. Now I know what t of 3 is, so I can plug it in and evaluate. And now I know what t of 4 is, so I can plug that in and evaluate. The next one, t of 1, is 2. And then it says the next term, or the, the term I'm interested in, is going to be the previous term to the negative 1. And what is that? What does the negative 1 power mean? If you call from algebra 1, it means reciprocal. And reciprocal is to flip it, so 5 to the negative 1 is 1 fifth, 3 fourths to the negative 1 is 4 thirds. And don't forget things like fractions of 1 eighth, if I flip that, I'd get 8. So, t, to the, uh, t of 1 to the negative 1, I've got all of them written out here. 
and I can evaluate each one of these now because I know what t of 1 is, 2, so the reciprocal of 2 is 1 half. Now that I know t of 2, I can replace it, take the reciprocal of that, and that's 2. Now that I know t of 3 is 2, I can replace that and find the reciprocal. And for the last one, for the fifth term, I take the fourth term, which is 1 half, and we flip it. So that's um, looking at each one of those. Again, you just evaluate as you go. Looking back at each of these, just for your information, it wasn't the question, but do notice that A was geometric, B was arithmetic. Remember this is geometric because here you were multiplying by a constant. Arithmetic because you were adding negative 5 every single time. And the last one is other. It's just an alternating system.